Uh, so, finalizing a second video. Uh, time lapse of all the work that we did here in 2022. Mainly pictures because I didn't have any video. I'll just give a few comments uh, on each step. So all the wood, uh, the large wood, it's uh, probably the only material I'm, I bought before the supply chain problem started and inflation kicked in and we had some price hikes. If I would have to buy it today, it would be 50% more. pretty cold not yeah it was cold but also very dry winter so one of the first things uh, was to rebuild this out outhouse and this side I used it as a laundry room future laundry room because it's of course not finished yet and on the other side I have a bathroom also to finish
that is going to be the outside toilet super so you don't have to run through the apartment and go to the toilet you can just go here nice idea so the general structure of the, the walls that divide all the rooms and spaces and the ceilings which are double with 10 centimeters of insulation wood on top that work I did mainly in the first half of the year whenever it was either too cold or bad weather outside I would turn inside and do another piece I remember it was a lot of work much more than I thought in the beginning but uh, I think that uh, accounts for everything <laughs> Then I need to make this opening and the other one for the fourth apartment in front of the house. It was a daring job and uh, I couldn't do it alone really. I didn't trust myself because uh, <laughs> there's all the weight from the stones up there. It was really something else. That was actually the old opening and I wanted it in the middle.
Right, so uh, one of the jobs I did in the winter was to build those outside walls, like the internal walls. I wanted to use as much as possible. I would wanted to build with wood because it's more eco-friendly, it's lightweight, and I just like it a lot more than brick. So I still have to finish that part, but it's also a job for eh, one day. You may not have seen it yet, but there's a separate video uh, about this uh, panorama terrace, as I call it. There's a great view of the valley. I just have to think about some cover. Of course, I would like to have a plant, but it takes time. So, yeah, it still needs to be painted. Select some kind of a cover and, well, we will see. So this terrace has a long story because um, below here there is a garage, it had a bit of an old roof, it wasn't falling apart but I had to take it away anyway and I figured uh, to make a big terrace in front of the house. The first thing we needed to do is to establish the height of the final floor. And the second thing was to uh, bring the wall up to that height, then tear down the old roof, rebuild the wall, and excavate. Because uh, I only had 160 and I needed at least 2 meters to fit in all the appliances.
So this is the garage, which will be used as a central heating for central heating, all the plumbing work, and a solar boiler, which will have a height of about two, two meters. I wanted to reach a final height of at least two, but uh, I think ultimately managed to get something of something like two meters and 25, 30, which is great, really. But uh, in this corner, Yeah, so this is basically the foundation of the house and since we excavated, well, I think almost 80 centimeters, I had to build this, these counter walls as I call them, because we were really below the foundation and even if this is rock, I mean, it's hard, it stays hard as long as it's not exposed to the elements, but once it's exposed, it will turn into dust. So. not to be taken too light you know I cleaned all these walls there were the joints were filled with cement a little bit still like there and I wanted uh, everything to be cleaned and redone with this more natural calcio also that wall and now uh, this year I have to finish upstairs yeah. it's gonna be a lot of work still Second terrace. 
after I finished the first one I started to think about no I, I really already had some kind of an idea you know you're on top of a hill so having different terraces is really beautiful and since we had a lot of material coming out of the house old rocks and stones etc this ended up to be the second terrace starting with the natural stone wall on the outside and below that there will be another terrace attached to the pool very nice Well, and then there is all the work outside. We had some good rain this year, so lots of trees, they... No, there's not even one tree that dried. And they're all looking very healthy, so I'm quite pleased. Well, it's a little bit of a mess. I don't know where to start cleaning. But for sure, I'll need to uh, plant some trees and plants and flowers and herbs around here but uh, first we have to finish finish the, the pool
once the terrace was done, I started to get all kind of new ideas because I left it for two or three months. And I thought, uh, well, I need some plants and maybe an outdoor kitchen. We need some uh, cover for, uh, for the sun, something like a pergola. So ultimately all the terraces, they have steel structures. I just have to think about and figure out what kind of cover I'm going to put on top. Uh, probably something like bamboo or something, I don't know. I like something natural. So that's, uh, that's about it, work from last year and then uh, I went home in December, Christmas, family, etc, friends, everybody start always ask me of course how you doing, what's going on, what's happening and I would take out my phone, tell the same story over and over again watch photos and about around Christmas time I thought that must be an easier way and that's when I uh, I turned my attention to video I don't think I'm a very good video maker yet because uh, it's more ma uh, you need to take more time and uh, the storytelling itself is very important uh, but I'm doing it, so I'm pleased. I have like a digital memory of uh, the work that I did here. I guess uh, time to start get that motor running and head to the next barbecue because in the end life is good. Thank you. <laughs>